It is with great pleasure and excitement that I invite and welcome you, each and every one of you, to the first of its kind Buildathon in the country. In an endeavor to introduce young children to the maker culture and embedded systems, Buildathon was born. Buildathon is an initiative designed to expose children between the ages of 13 to 18 to early stage technology, enabling them to innovate and build solutions within a fun environment. This immersive experience was designed to get the younger generation involved in the technological revolution unfolding globally. The impact of this program was quite phenomenal, if you will. We brought together 1,500 young children from different states, including Borno State, Ogun State, and Imo State, to work together in teams of 10 to build prototypes and solutions to everyday problems. These students took cues from their environment to build prototypes and innovative and creative solutions to everyday problems across different sectors, including the health, education and even aviation. It's clear that there's no nation that can actually truly move forward uh, without science and technology. That's, that's the reality. And the only way you can do that is to ensure that you have a, a pool of people with strong appreciation of science and technology, with lifelong interest in science and technology. And the best way to do that is to catch people when they're really young, when they're really curious, expose them to science and technology, ensure that it becomes almost like a second nature to them. And by so doing, you will find more people, perhaps, who will take up career along that line, that will go for further studies ar around it. Or perhaps people who uh, creative confidence is just strengthened because they're used to technology really early. So the Buildathon is a program that we've put in place that we hope to scale. We've already done it in three states with 1,500 young people, where we've introduced them to not just the soft side of technology, but the hard side of it through embedded systems. They've learned using Arduino and Raspberry Pi in particular to code and build technology solutions that have the physical hardware side, but also combines with the soft side to, to solve different problems. I really like this program because I'm not a artist and I came and learned many things in crafts projects. And I'm thinking even I went some, I will not leave it to go like that. I will do it as some so that my sisters too, that they will stand it up. They will be like me. I will be training them as the way we did with so far. Thank you for this. I really appreciate it. This kind of project will actually help in impacting the kids because it's going to shape their career prospects. Most of them, they just learn uh, theory in schools. They don't have this practical aspect which they, uh, for them to understand very well or to have an idea about how things actually work in the real life. But with these kind of projects, I think if we have a good sustainability of this project, it's going to go a long way for the kids and in shaping uh, the people of Borno at large. The aim is to bring on board this 1,500 students from the three locations to be equipped with the necessary skills needed in order to catch them young. And that is how we came about the project. And here we are so far so good. As you can see, the students were able to come up with tangible projects that are so viable, which can be used to support them in the future, equipping or tapping from their pool of talent so that they can build on that and come up with ideas. You know, the build the program is one that was so much welcomed and even desired for more because it's one program that was able to bring together our young people. It's like a cash them young program. So you see schools from the rural areas coming together to compete in terms of creativity, innovation, with schools in the urban area. And it was a one-week program with thrilling experience that the young ones enjoyed. And that exposed them to the world of technology. Till today, the Ministry of Digital Economy and e-government in Imo State have leveraged and latched on that program 
to also create a lot of youth-based hackathons, you know, that will further you know, expose these young ones to the world of technology so that they understand that the world today has evolved and technology is the future. And if that is the future, we all need to embrace technology even at a young age. So that has helped. Build a Town has helped to stimulate interest in STEM, in STEM-based projects. Also stimulate interest in what the ministry is doing through the Scale Up Emo project. And it has even further gone ahead to stimulate the interest of these young ones to embracing technology the more because some of them built things that they never imagined they were able to build. And they were not just building for the sake of building. They were building projects that are solving specific problems in the society. You know, so the Build the Tone program to me is a very welcome development, which I pray and I encourage the minister who is already doing a fantastic job in this tech space in Nigeria, you know, to continue with that program so that our young ones fully understand what the future that technology is creating will be like and their role in that future. It was exciting to, to see these young people from public schools, 1,500 of them from public schools, you know, engage in learning about embedded systems for a whole week. And the excitement that came out of it, the, the lessons for us as well, is inspiring us to now build a program that we're calling Code Clubs that will run in public secondary schools across the country. And we'll start again using our approach of one to 10 to 100, which is to prototype it, pilot it, then hopefully scale it across the country as a standard that should be in all the schools. Uh, 